NBA Commissioner Adam Silver has been very open about his support of expanding the NBA in the near future. It's been nearly 20 years since a new franchise was formed, and with increasing players coming from overseas, there's no shortage of talent to be spread across new markets. The obvious question is which cities are most likely to get that new franchise? Well, there's a clear fan favorite of NBA fans online. That is the Seattle Supersonics. The Supersonics have been a firm part of the NBA's history dating back to the 1960s. A franchise with its fair share of success on the court and a notoriously loud and passionate fan base in the city of Seattle. But that history is just a memory now as the city patiently awaits its second shot at a team. With talk starting to ramp up within the league about possible expansion on the horizon, could we see the rise of a fallen empire or will new emerging markets take those coveted spots away. Originally founded in 1967, and after a rocky first decade, the Supersonics would get their footing in the mid-70s with two straight NBA Finals appearances, losing the first in seven games to the Washington Bullets, but winning the whole thing the very next year in 79. And the Sonics wouldn't reach those heights again until the 90s, after drafting stars in Sean Kemp and Gary Payton. But things would really come together with the hiring of head coach George Carl in 1992. Over a three-year stretch between 1995 and 1998, the Sonics would go a combined 182 and 64. And they might have had another championship to show for it if it wasn't for a certain Hall of Famer out east. However, following that 1998 season, the Sonics would only return to the playoffs three times in 10 years and never advance past the second round. And with poor performance on the court, coupled with dwindling support and a small and aging venue, things weren't looking good in Seattle. Then owner Howard Schultz was losing money and in 2006 sold the franchise to Clay Bennett, a decision he would go on to regret in later years. The deal was originally done with the intention of Bennett acting in good faith to keep the franchise in Seattle. However, it's believed by many that Bennett and his group had always had the intention of moving the team to Oklahoma City, which eventually came to fruition in 2008. Now, to add salt to the wounds of fans in Seattle, the franchise had just drafted generational talent Kevin Durant the year before, and was on the verge of drafting future star Russell Westbrook and Serge Ibaka. And that's not even to mention James Harden in 2009, a squad that, as we all know, would go on to achieve great things for the Thunder. That is until... But fast forward to today and things are starting to look up for Seattle. As I mentioned before, the NBA is not shy in voicing its intentions to expand soon. The NHL recently awarded a franchise to Seattle after its renovations of Key Arena, now Climate Pledge Arena, which solves a major problem that the Sonics faced originally. And Seattle has just always been at the top of NBA fans list that deserve a new franchise. Yet there is a new kid on the block looking to get in on expansion as well. That city? Las Vegas. There's so much momentum right now for sports in Las Vegas. It's added the Golden Knights, the Raiders, now the Athletics, all since 2017. And as we all know, Vegas is already home to NBA Summer League and will now play host for the proposed in-season tournament championship. Now, considering all that, it's hard not to put Vegas at the top of the list of favorites. I mean, you thought the Sacramento Kings lighting the beam was cool? Imagine what Vegas could do with the sphere after every home win. Any guesses? Leave them in the comments. Now, I would guess the league expands by two when it does, and while Vegas and Seattle are the most obvious additions right now, others will surely be in the mix as well. I've heard rumblings of Kansas City, Vancouver, and even Mexico City. All in all, I hope that Seattle gets their team back as it's been a sorely missed part of the sports world in the Pacific Northwest. My one condition is they stick with these jerseys. But let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the comments about NBA expansion. Thank you for watching this far, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.